Good morning, everyone. It's Rifkel. I'm playing some more Act Razor Renaissance. We're going to hopefully be finishing Fillmore. Uh, we're going to challenge Act 2 and see what happens. I am uh, exciting, excited to get back into the side-scroller mode. Um, I really like all the stuff that we did in the sim mode, but it's a little longer than... I feel like it could have been a little shorter or a little bit more broken up. Maybe instead of doing those weird little, uh... I, I wish those little sections to break it up in the middle were longer, I think. But I digress. It's still, still really awesome. Wonderful news. Your children's faith has grown so deep and potent that the forgotten power is now yours to wield. It's contingent on acquisitions of magic crystals. Okay. Inspect. When defeated, enemies will drop magic crystals that can be collected to enhance your abilities. Okay. As you amass them, the crystal gauge in the upper left will fill, and you'll be awarded bonuses. Uh, so attack up, magic up, attack up, magic up, attack up, magic up. Okay. Oh, and if you're at five, apparently it just refills your, or gives you, like, an extra life, effectively. Okay, press magic to cast your spell. Press and hold magic to cast a different spell. Out what this is like why is that there this feels like there should be something like secret hidden there or something but i doubt it is <laughs> it's my metroidvania sense is tingling So, just like the original, this section seems to have the two different paths you can take. Kind of the upper and lower paths. I'm assuming that if we get over here, there's going to be something. No, maybe not. That's the other door. Ow. Those were spikes. Hey, max stuff up. So I guess we're going to take this top route. Collecting that scroll gave us 10 extra HP and MP, so we're definitely going to want to go back and get those from the first stage as well. And we're probably going to have to do a second pass through this stage if we can. Um, based on the fact that we did not collect any of them the first time. I need to remember to use that more often.
Okay, crystal gauge is almost full. Oops, I was not paying enough attention there. We should not have gone that way. That was a randomly placed spike that just wrecked me for not walking down the stairs. Oh, noted. Save point statues do not fully heal you. Like, I actually really like the redesigns on these levels. I'm... Like, it definitely captures the feelings of the original, but uh, like it's intending to in a different way. And there are definitely some annoying traps floating around, which is definitely fitting with the way that this game has always been. HP plus 100 from that statue. Which is good because we're about dead. That was a really bad jump. I keep forgetting that you can't use this. I keep basically keep forgetting that there's not a double jump. MP plus 50, okay. So the plus 100 here is great. Except for the part where we don't actually get to keep it if we die. No, we do get a free life effectively. Like, if we. It sounds like if we die, we don't actually die the first time. We get, like, a buffer life. Which could be really good against the Minotaur, let's be fair here. I love how they actually take the time to show you how his stuff works there. Duck under the top axe. Hey, that hundred worked out well. <laughs> yeah, that plus 100% damage boost is silly. Curses, or the curse lifts. Minotaurus is slain. The Lord of Light is victorious. Well done, Lord. These lands have never known lasting peace, not even when I ruled. But with this latest triumph, you may have just delivered us that. I shall of course remain and look after these goodly people, safeguard their way of life. Such was my vow and I intend to keep it. However, 
As a hero prophesied, I presume I have a duty to you as well. When he calls for your aid, you will answer. The proof of your covenant, the shard of starlight, the jewel of the king. Render unto your lord that which is by rights his. Okay. None may command a king to uh, none may command a king save you, Lord. To your grace and splendor I yield. Okay. Very cool. So we get our level up. Very cool. No evil remains. People no longer have need of your sucker. Let leave them to their own devices and see what good can be done in other lands. Yep. So we've covered most of what's going on here. Um, we're pretty much topped out. I assume we're going to be able to get slightly better stuff later, but we it's going to be when we come back. Um, I think for now what we're going to do is actually take this opportunity to return to the Sky Palace. Oh. Save, apparently. Um, what was I trying to do? Quests. No? Oh, okay. I keep just realized what button I'm pushing wrong. World map. There we go. Um, however, we're not going to go to the next area quite yet. I want to actually go back to Act 1 of Film more quick, since this video went so fast. And I want to see what the second run of a stage looks like. And I want to see if we can get some more of those scrolls, because I believe those are actually permanent. I'm also curious if the third scroll is actually hidden in the stage or tied to the boss. I could totally see a game like this giving you like a reward for defeating the whole one of the bosses without getting hit or in a time limit or something along those lines. So, there's one scroll. There we go. This felt like there would be something laying around over here. Apparently I missed that before. <laughs> I 
got a little over aggressive there. That's just a, a healing item, not a. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing any signs of it here. It kind of has felt like there's about one per screen, and I'm wondering if that means that the third one is here like I had thought. Centaurus! Okay. So yeah, it is just a strict replay of the stage. Uh, the nice thing with that was that we got the crystals and stuff. It's not like we lost some of the old stuff, or we didn't lose the new stuff we've unlocked but going back to it. I think that's actually a really good thing for games like this. Although I do have to say, I don't understand why they didn't just leave the crystals in for the whole, for the first stage as well. Like, if you're going to introduce a mechanic, just make it a mechanic. Unless there's a really... Unless they're going to keep adding more mechanics. I guess we'll find that out. But anyway. Uh, this has been fun. I am still very much... Digging this game. It is definitely enjoyable. It definitely has the spirit of the original Actraiser... Um, if, like, the stages look right, the world looks right, the sim mode feels... Like, the way I described it earlier is, I feel like this is the successor that they wanted to do uh, with Soul Seraph. I feel like this is what they... kind of the feeling of what they could have done if they had had the capability with the original. Some of the expanded features. I feel like it's closer to the original than Soul Seraph in a lot of ways. Like, the feeling, the spirit of it. It doesn't necessarily feel... The, the platforming stages don't necessarily feel like the original. Um, but that's because the original is from a very specific era. And honestly, the fact that this the jumps and stuff do feel a little stiff actually does make it feel a little bit more dated, and in a good way. In a way that makes it feel more like the original. So, I don't know. Overall, I'm really enjoying it. I think it is... Like, I still love the original. And I guess I should probably mention, the soundtrack is phenomenal, and the actual art in it is great. The actual, like sprites question mark are not my favorite thing but the actual like art for like the character portraits for the uh sim parts and stuff like that the like cell shaded stuff that they're putting on top looks amazing and again remastered music the music in this game is one of my favorite things in general like i love actraiser as a whole but the music is one of the things about it that I feel like is so sets it apart so much. Like, there's a lot of great Super Nintendo soundtracks. 
and I don't feel like Actraiser gets enough love. Uh, if you haven't picked up, they have the uh, symphonic uh, re-recording of the original soundtrack uh, that they released recently, and it is also amazing. And if you have the means for it, uh, they totally have it on, or released it on vinyl. Like, I just about picked that up just to, like, put the case on my wall, because the art on that was pretty awesome, too. Yeah, I feel like that's, uh, we finished Fillmore. I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. We will pick back up next time, heading into Bloodpool for the first time. I'm excited to see what the other areas are like, see if they're going to continue expanding on the features that we already got here, or if it's going to kind of be more of the same, start getting more repetitive. I'm curious to see how much of the progress we made in Fillmore can carry over to Bloodpool, like if we're going to keep kind of like building up between everything, or if we're going to be stuck kind of each section on its own. Yeah, there's a lot to see. This is the new features just keep coming, so uh, I'm excited. If you are enjoying, give me a like and subscribe. Check out the rest of the content on my channel. Uh, I do have a run of the original Actraiser, although it's very old, so the recording quality is not great. Um, I was planning on redoing it before this. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.